Bonus points if people know what that theme song was from today. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Kilted Balls podcast today. Thanks for joining us. And we've got Kilted on the road today with his, with his whole family. So you might be hearing a lot of the family. You can already hear Gina giggling in the background. She is a giggler. <laughs> so you'll hear a little bit of that today. All right? Yeah. She can only show you that one hand because she's topless while they're driving. It's a little treat she does for the truck drivers. <laughs> So it is nice, and you don't want to look at the other hand right now. <laughs> no, 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 the other hand's busy, totally occupied right now. So, yeah, good times, good times. Uh, it's a crazy day today. Our uh, our Bitcoin took off today, and then it's kind of hovered, so it broke resistance. And it's interesting, I was just looking at resistance right before it took off. So that means for those of you who don't play this game, when something breaks resistance and takes off like that, that means we make a profit and we also get shorted and <laughs> or we get stopped out. And it's all whether we can chase or not. And I didn't chase. Did you get any chasing in? I was I was way too busy today to chase. I was so sad because you're exactly right. When it launches like that. Like, sweet, we make money, but when you, I mean, the days you make money and get stopped, it's tough. It is tough. And the worst part about today, like, for when it started to pump, I was like, oh, my gosh, it's getting ready to pump. I'm going to chase. And then somebody, like, came in, bothered me, and I knocked over an entire water bottle onto my desk. <laughs> and I'm like, no. And I cleaned up the water bottle and opened it back up, and it had already pumped. And close my position. So you I was knew. like, gosh darn it. That's awesome. You knew. Yeah. Yeah. And so I still made my money. I mean, but I didn't make as much as I could have to mess my stop loss. Now, here's the weird thing that's going on right now. So my 3S token was still good. And I've been kind of watching it all day, just going, you know, how's it looking? Well, the 3S token about an hour ago had a candle. Let me see if I can get a percent on this candle. A 6% negative candle. Wow. Yeah. And here's the crazy part about that 6% negative candle. If you go and you check out Bitcoin in that same time frame, yeah. Bitcoin dropped 0.06%. Or sorry, it went, yeah, it gained 0.06%. So that seems odd. Yeah. So the other one did the opposite, which it's supposed to, but it did the opposite at 10x instead of 3x. Really? So like, it's not tied as closely as we'd hoped, is what it's you're not saying. Tied. I'm saying like people must have been bailing. And when they bailed, it dropped the price through the floor. Now the question is, will it? correct itself back to bitcoin or is it going to stay down low like that yeah i don't know how that works honestly yeah it definitely screwed me now on the other hand so you know that's part of my bot game and my threes strategy but i have yeah. some real money in like an e3 long that you know people on here know that i've been playing with forever yep and e for the last hour or so has been kind of stable. Yeah. It had a little bit of a, you know, half a percent up, but it hasn't really done anything. But my three long, I'm going to check its thing right now, just had a candle that was 15.49%. Wow. Right? So... On one hand, I'm mad that that short had a big red candle. Uh, on the other hand, I'm like super pumped that the thing that actually has my money in it had a 15% yeah. candle. <laughs> I'll have to I Actually, I don't know if my long is open because I, I don't think I opened it back up earlier. I just don't understand why ETH would be flat 
I mean, I understand how it works. Like people must have been buying the crap out of that long. And so here's my thought. And maybe I need to check the Bitcoin long as well. If Bitcoin short had a huge candle and Ethereum long had a huge candle and let's yeah. check some Bitcoin long, yep, has some candles going up. Does that mean the price of Bitcoin and the price of Ethereum are about to jump? Yeah, maybe. I still have my shorts open from earlier. I did break the rules again today. I knew I was doing it, but that was a chance I was willing to take. And yeah. it's good. Like I've met, like I could, well, the last time I looked, I could close everything and I would be down only $50 for the day. Oh, wow. After getting stopped twice. So that is something I, I wondered about the strategy was I wonder if it's better sometimes, like even if you're negative in one of your pairs, to close it and take that profit. Yeah. I'm just wondering if I see somebody getting rid of all their 3S tokens and buying a whole bunch of 3L tokens, that means they think Bitcoin's about to go up. Yeah. And so it makes me think, you know, it's a good time to do a futures on Bitcoin. Yeah, just hop on that 100X and just run out of ride. And see how it goes. <laughs> right, see how she blows. Or Ethereum, right? If the Ethereum just had that huge jump, you know? you know. Yeah, the Ethereum you... was actually a lot more than the Bitcoin, the percentage today. Well, and the 3L, like I said, the... My 3L just had a 50% jump, right? Yeah, that's awesome. So you you convinced me. I am jumping over to my ETH right now. Nice. And you know, one of the things that I talk about, about doing both that I don't like, I just now realized that my seed for my threes is put into my shorts because all of that's in the same account. Because I didn't oh, open no. it back up already. The seed is I mean, it's in just there? Two, it's just $200, but that's the part that I don't like. If I don't pay close enough attention, yeah, then, then I end up putting money in the wrong accounts and stuff. That is not as fun, right? Yeah. Well, not wrong okay. accounts and wrong trades. I have $52 in my futures account. Nice. I'm going to go a 52, uh, 15X on Ethereum. Long? Long. Okay. Right? That's not, <laughs> that's not crazy risk. And yes, I know Ethereum's already up today, but I'm like, everybody's doing that. I'm going to uh, see if they know something I don't know. Yeah. And right. $52, I mean, you've spent more than that at the gas station getting donuts. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> well, and what was I going to do with that thing anyway? Nothing, yeah. right? Wait, why didn't it do it? Oh, you know what? I got to cancel that. It didn't do it right. I want to mark it by 15x. And I want 100%. There we go. At the market value. Buy long 15. Confirm it. Oh, good. I did my order. Awesome. I, except it didn't go through, so I don't understand. There it goes. Now it went. It didn't go through again. Okay. So here we go, peeps. We, we have my order open. And we'll see if uh, people know something that we don't know, right? And so we'll find out. I'm up. Uh, I'm up over a percent already. Oh, awesome! How, so, how we'll many how many inside. pies am I allowed to buy from your daughter? How much room do you mean, have in your freezer? I don't know. Do you guys she eat a lot sent, of apple pies? She just sent me a text message, so I guess we can talk about that later. Yeah. Anybody who wants apple pies. 
my daughters make apple pies for Thanksgiving for a fundraiser, and they will sell you apple pies. And if you just want to donate, like you're in uh, Bolivia right now, and you're like, I don't think that's going to ship. <laughs> we will donate that pie to a homeless shelter for you so they can have a nice apple pie homemade for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, that's awesome. So, and Bob, let us know. keep it in his fridge, too, if you're going to come visit from that if, far. If you are going to visit Ball Buster, I will put it in my fridge for you. That is That is dead honest, for sure, for sure. So, yeah, I wrote up rules, by the way, for our strategy people. I'm, you know, we're still testing it. It's still got work to do, but we're starting to make up rules. And uh, eventually we'll give some of you access to our rules yeah. so that you can uh, see what they're like. Yeah, I think so. I think it's pretty exciting. And, um, you know, I've been talking about it with some with some close people that were working on it, and that you know, as soon as we make sure that it's working, that we're gonna let we're gonna let people know. I mean, I think I'm thinking a master class, like a a ten thousand dollar master class, this would be perfect for. <laughs> <laughs> perfect for that. Perfect for a master class. Or I'll maybe I'd free. Tie it to my, I'd just tie it to my NFTs. Right? Good idea. I like that idea too. That's perfect. I had a person say that uh, I was like, oh yeah, we do NFTs. And they're like, I have NFTs. And I'm like, you do? And they're like, uh, doesn't it mean nice fucking tits? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nice. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm like, perfect. <laughs> But yeah, we could tie that right into an NFT, sell our Kilted Balls NFTs, and people could get access to our strategies. That is true. So, That's awesome. Once we get them to work. And right now, my threes are working better than my bots. Okay. So my bots are down a little bit. No, bots are up a percent and a half after the loss today. Okay. But my, so still... And then six days to the end of the month. Yeah. And my threes are up 13%. That's awesome. So they're doing exactly what they're supposed to. And I compounded them once they hit 10. So when they hit 10, I was like, and we're going to compound those. Nice. So we'll see how they go. All right. But hopefully, people, it'll work out great. And then we'll share it with you and we can... All make lots of money together. It'll be fun. Yeah, so, it'll be great. But we're missing the big part of today. So you're driving, which is unusual for us to shoot an episode while you're driving. But because it's what's so special about your drive, take yes. us there. And anyone who listened last week knows this. But if you're new this week, um, Gina and I both have a VFriend gift goat. And although at first I thought it was going to, it was, it was a gift, but Gary had pointed out that he knew that it would be difficult for, you know, a big percentage of the 555 of us to make it to Atlanta during the week, that this is just an extra add on. So one of the cool things that, you know, Gary is doing for that part of his NFT community. So yeah, we get to, um, you get there, I guess there's a meet and greet, there's a Q&A session, and then we are playing Knockout. And I believe that both Gary and Shaq are playing Knockout with everyone else. I don't see why not if they're there. That is amazing. So, yeah, that'll be that'll be pretty exciting. Did you bring the board eight basketball? That's what our listeners want to know. I did. I did. I don't have a bag that I can put it in, though, because it's such a big box. So yeah. I'm just going to be carrying this box around, I guess. <laughs> now, what are you doing with the kiddos? They're coming with us. Oh, uh, Tristan's going to Tristan's gonna watch them while we're there. So he's coming out uh, when he gets out of work, and then he'll, he'll come out and hang with us. Okay. When's he get, like, is he going to fly over? Yeah, he'll just drive over. It's only, Atlanta's only, you know, three and a half to four hours from Charlotte, depending on traffic and all that. Oh, I did not realize that. That's a close drive. Yeah, that's not bad. And then we were thinking about going to the aquarium, but I noticed there is something going on 
it's there's one in Atlanta and there's one in Vienna. So two going on right now in the whole world. It is a Harry Potter exhibit from the movies, like movie props and costumes and all that stuff. So we're going to do that with the kids on Thursday. Um, yeah, that's kind of a cool thing. Have the kids watched Harry Potter? Or read they have. They've, they've watched them. They haven't read them. I cannot believe Momo watched Harry Potter. I don't think he saw the last couple. Nice, nice. <laughs> they both Very have good. gummies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is terrific. So what else? So, yeah. do, you, do you so you plan on giving him the basketball, right? Yep, yep. Anything else fun? No, I mean there's gonna from from what the the information that we've been given, there's gonna be two hundred of us. Okay. And it says not that it's not a uh, it's not an autograph session anything like that. So we actually got that email. And Gina and I were looking at getting like we they had like this plaque with like game worn jersey, ba ba ba, picture of Shaq and stuff. We thought about buying it, but then just figured we'd live you know just live life. And um, so yeah, well I'm glad we didn't get it because seeing that. I mean, people might think that that's what I'm trying to do by carrying that basketball around, but I'm all fine with whatever. I don't care what people think. Yeah, for sure. And I think Shaq will appreciate it. Yeah, I'd rather not – I mean, I'd rather not say, like, if, you know, when I'm going in the doors, if they make (laughs) me say or whatever, then I will. But, you know, I'd like to keep it a secret. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Besides all of our listeners. I don't know if we have any other about it. They might mm-hmm. ask you about it, and you might say, well, it's a gift for Shaq, and they might be like, come here. We got to take you to this special room with Shaq. There we go. That's true. And then you'll get your prostate examined. It'll be super sweet. That'd be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, I am almost 40, got. so it'll be, it'll be time. <laughs> almost. Almost 40. <laughs> Anything else going on in the uh, NFT land? NF- Anything? So um, I think I, I think we, we talked about this quick the other day because you were talking about your your boss beauty second. I am still yeah. like I, I, ex- I actually started doing my taxes for next year and Ooh. I have all my I have all my NFTs in already. And it was just it was really interesting looking at that and, and just like looking back at the last year, especially like as prices were going down and like, yeah seeing what was going on in my mind and, you know, thinking about some of the episodes were recorded during those times and stuff. So that was just kind of for, it was more fun this time doing it than it was doing it for um, 2021, but it was right. just, it was really cool. And, and I do, there's a, there's a few projects that I really want to uh, double and triple down on and, you know, thinking about NFMs and, and things like that, where it's like, okay, like, you know, when this, when this ETH starts coming in, what am I going to do with it? So I'm just, I'm just super excited about that sort of stuff. Obviously excited about the trading strategy and, you know, yeah, hammering that so out. My mouth like seriously opened while you were just talking, because as you were talking about that, it made me remember that I wanted to talk about our miners. Cause I was like, you know, We've had to turn on the heat here because I didn't have any miners in the house this time. <laughs> and I was like, Not maybe it. it's maybe it's a good time to get another miner. And the first 19 pro miner that popped up on Amazon is three thousand dollars. Wow. Wow. We paid what four or five times that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Who sadly. who did we go through? Let me look at this one. This one's on sale. Um, I can't see who it's through. Okay. It looks I, like I mean I might remember it if I heard it. It could be. Well, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, is this the same one or a different yeah. one? Yeah. I so, wonder, I mean, they reached out okay. to you. I wonder if they have cheap ones, like if we reached out to them. I don't know if I kept that paperwork or not. 
I'd have to look for it at the warehouse. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, I imagine like the floor with Bitcoin so low, people probably don't want them. But if you can get one, like this is twenty seven hundred dollars. Yeah. Like free shipping. even. Yeah, free shipping, twenty seven hundred dollars, and even with ours. Even with low Bitcoin right now, so I think it would take less than a year to pay off. Yeah. Is it a SJ19? It's an S19 Pro, 110 terahertz. Okay, 110. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, man. So maybe the minor business will grow. I think you need to be heated up over the winter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my warehouse would do next summer, though. That's the hard part. <laughs> Ooh, that's true. That's true. Well, and there's others that are cheaper and others that are more expensive. Those were just the yeah. first ones, you know, like the Amazon suggested ones. Yeah. Well, I guess the big thing is, I mean, we can look at everything. Obviously, with that price being so low, that would, you know, doesn't take a lot to start being in the profits. And right. then, you know, we do have the halving coming up. So, you know, we would want that price to be lower because most of its life, it's going to be after the halving as opposed to before the halving, like the other yes. ones we got, you right. know, looking at a three-year lifespan. So it's really interesting. Well, Another I thing that was... That, oh, go ahead. I heard that some of these suppliers just have all... They have tons of these just sitting there, right? That makes sense. Because the electricity is too much to run in most places. And yeah. so they're just sitting there waiting to be used. On a podcast, I did hear that uh, Virginia and North Carolina were three other places to have electricity prices. So we missed most of what you said so, there. Yeah, my phone fell. That oh. North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia were three of the best states for nice. electricity prices. Well, that's awesome. Well, I'm just thinking, man, yeah. get, I wouldn't think, before I was thinking we wouldn't get any more, but with them being that cheap, maybe it's time to expand that business a little bit. Yeah, that's true. Just have to, we'll have to think up about that. The, uh, box a bit. Yeah. Yeah. The 220, that's the tough part. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Look at that, people. You're watching us make decisions on the fly, business decisions. So you're watching me open a future. Okay. Kilted and I are talking about expanding the business. By the way, that uh, future is at 3.76%. That's awesome. That means I yep. probably should have closed my shorts. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, they probably went crazy with that candle um, just like all the others did yeah so the um one of the one of the really cool things that i want to bring up and this will be for the hardcore listeners if you made it this far then this is a gem for you so i think with brian that you and i have talked about it or a ball buster i'm sorry we've been friends for a long time i mean you know, good friends for, you know, more than half of our lives. And something came up this week that made, nearly made my jaw drop. And so, I mean, I even told Gina about it. I was like, this is wild because you love what you do. You've always been very clear on that. And you don't do what you do for money. Well, you couldn't, you hear broke you up. This week talk the whole time. No, you said, I just told Gina about this, and then you were like, you've always been very clear. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man, I am, I am moving now. I'm out, of the, I'm out of the construction. You've been very clear. You love your job. Did oh, that come yes. through? Yes. And you, you don't do it for money. No, no, I don't. And to be, to be as close to you as I have, this was the this last week was the first time I've ever heard you say that you would consider retiring to do something different. 
Yeah, yeah, that kind of came up looking at all of our crypto and the different strategies. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time to come up with an exit plan. We talk about exit plans for everything else, but for my yeah. job, like people have asked me, they're like, when are you going to stop your job? And I go, when I die. I go, I plan yeah. on dying while I'm there. But yeah. I was sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, do we have a theme song going on? I couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah, I said, backyard uh, again. you know, maybe I need an exit strategy just in case. Though the funniest part about that, you bring that up. But I spent Sunday and yesterday looking at numbers going, why would I again? Like, I'm pretty sure I could still do both. <laughs> Okay. I thought your I thought your concern was you'd want to watch closer when the amount is higher. No, that's what I'm saying. I was looking at it going, maybe I'd be able to still watch it just the same. You know. It's true, you could practice right now. Right. So I'm like, maybe it wouldn't be an issue. Maybe it would, I don't know. But it's funny that as soon yeah. as I got the words out of my mouth, then I started thinking, well, maybe I wouldn't. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was floored. I mean, I didn't say much when it was happening because my mind was reeling. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's... and all the reasons were, were great reasons, and those are reasons for me as well. That's why, like, those have always been reasons why I would want to retire from what I did. Right, right. Well, and it's funny. I was saying it to my wife, and she, like, didn't even listen at all. I was like, hey, I think I came <laughs> up with a retirement plan. She was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> like that's kind of a big thing uh-huh i was like okay never mind <laughs> it's like not a yeah. cool thing i guess but she knows too you and you she's there every day you telling her that you love it and you're never gonna leave that's true that's true so but you never know i'm a crazy guy so that's true oh i have one thing i gotta talk about before we leave my new obsession in sports so I'm not a big sports, but I've got one now. And Cal and I watch it together. And it's Marble League. You've been watching more of it? Yeah, I watched the qualifiers for the Olympics on Friday. Cal and I did. Um, we cheered. I don't think Team Momo made the qualifier. And oh, Balls of Chaos, which is my team, won, qualified on a tiebreaker. It was like, so, so close to him. They're playing marbles, correct? No. You've got to watch Marble okay. League. Okay, so I thought they were playing marbles this no. whole time. I'm going to have to watch it now and see what they're no, doing. Events. It's all these different events that the marbles compete in. And so I'm part of Team Balls of Chaos. Um, I bought merch this week. So Cal and I are going to have shirts. <laughs> Balls That's of Chaos awesome. shirts. So we're pretty excited about the Olympics coming up. So sweet. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to watch it now because I just thought they were playing marbles. No, no. It's a. Uh, it's a couple Norwegian dudes came up with this during the pandemic, and it's awesome. So nice. <laughs> it's, and you have to find your team because Team Momo's out, so it can't be oh, Team Momo. Man. <laughs> But yes, I any can't, listeners I can't copy out there, you, so I'll have to look. You'll have to look. And O oh, Rangers, which I thought would be your team, they got booted too, I think. So I hate the O oh, Rangers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, listeners, check it out. The Marble League. So you can it's on YouTube, but you can check it out on their website as well. It's pretty sweet. So I'll have to do that. Yeah, give it a look. Give it a listen. Well, friends, we are probably going to give you another update within the next couple of days so you can hear about the Gary and Shat experience. So, because when Gary's shatting, it's important. So, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for you. I'm excited to hear how big he is because I imagine he's going to like dwarf you. I think. So I hope he's not in front of me playing the uh, playing knockout. <laughs> I hope he I hope he dees and slaps that right in your face. 
<laughs> just turn it around and hits it away. I imagine yeah. there's going to be some shenanigans. Oh my gosh, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be so funny. It'll be awesome. Yeah. So, all right, people. Well, this is Ballbuster signing off. You have a great week. Kilted Dragon Jerry, love you all. <laughs>